Hey guys, I'm Isia and welcome to another episode. As you can see in front of me, I've got two signs and you can probably guess that uh, it's got something to do with a grinder and gasoline. Uh, so today's episode is going to be the gasoline engine and the grinder. Um, we're doing both because essentially the grinder requires 128 newton meters of force um, and the gasoline engine just happens to output 128 newton meters of force. I've also put these... Uh, uh, cobblestone I've just totally forgot what these blocks are and cobblestone down there because um, I'm going to put the engine up one level um, and I'll explain why later it's not necessary it's just a future proof um, the engine itself right can be actually I was gonna say I was gonna explain this later but I'll explain it now uh, the engine itself right can have a uh, an engine controller which is an old rotorcraft block um, which can uh, alter the speed uh, and performance of the engine above it. Um, and that block itself goes below the engine. Uh, also, the engine can have a fuel line, which will run the liquid ethanol to it, and that will connect to the bottom of the engine. So if you want to, say, uh, have a engine set up later on where the fuel is pumped in, um, later on you'll want to have below it uh, have easy access so uh, now that that's out of the way let's get on to the creative part and we're going to making the engine so the engine's pretty simple it has got a bit of gold um, the ignition unit itself can be um, it's pretty much just steel and gold and redstone uh, these are all pretty simple uh, so we'll just grab the gasoline engine and as always the output of the engine faces you when you put it down so as you can see by the red cube and the engines put out 128 newton meters uh, and they spin at 512 rads uh, which gives you about 65,000 watts now if you have the engine um, controller below it you can um, not change the torque it outputs but uh, the speed it outputs at and how fast it goes through fuel um, that engine control will come in a later episode um, and but if you're, you know, if you want to make it, it's a good way to save on fuel. Specifically, if you're putting it up against a grinder, because we see with the grinder, it requires 128 newton meters. But um, in the book, it only says it needs 496 watts. So if you do your maths, at 128 newton meters, you really only need to spin the engine at 32 rads to actually get it to to work. So. Um, that 512 rads that the engine already does essentially gets wasted if you just um, connect it straight up to a grinder. So uh, that's where the engine controller comes in. Uh, let's get on to the grinder. This is pretty simple. Um, steel, these ones are just like uh, impellers except the ingots rather than being on these parts here, they're actually on the corners. So they're pretty easy to make. Um, the grinder itself, um, when you place it down, um, because it hasn't got an output, uh, or hasn't got a power output, the input is going to be away from, from us when we click down. As you can see the green. Um, if we look at it, we've got a input for items to be grinded, so you can grind uh, canola seeds to get lubricant. And as you can see, there's a little spot here for uh, the lubricant, which is a liquid. And on here is the output for items, of course. So as you can see, it's... Uh, 128 by 496 so if you divide 496 by 128 you only get 32 rads needed to get that power level okay and the engine itself is pretty simple there's a liquid tank there and you put ethanol crystals in here and they'll be converted into uh, liquid crystals there um liquid ethanol and that's about it we've already got some crystals already which we oh, there they are 64 which we made through the fermenter so I'll put a link at the top and you click that if you want to see the fermenter pump um, and making ethanol okay so you just you want, I'm not gonna put all of it in there because uh, it's gonna put a little bit in there don't waste it all of it because as you can see there is no off switch um, there is an off switch if you get the engine controller the engine controller can turn it off and hence keep the fuel left in it so we've got 15 minutes of fuel um, if you put the engine controller in there uh, and decrease the speed of the engine, um, the fuel lasts for much longer. So 
Uh, okay, so now we've got the grinder going. It's at full power, full speed, full torque. All we need now is to go find some stuff to grind. And I think I've got some canola seeds. I've only got one canola seed. Ooh, I'm supposed to make more of them. Uh, where can I do it? Uh, these ones grow pretty fast, so. Where's my watering can? Uh, why is Whaler not appearing? Whaler. Appear. Uh, I forgot what button I set it at. Eh, oh well, no whaler. Hurry up. Almost. The good thing about the uh, canola seeds is uh, they usually drop, there we go, quite a few seeds at once. So six, we only need a couple to do the demonstration, so uh, let's also grab something else to, to grind as well. Okay, so I'm going to grab some iron ore. Uh, another good point about the grinder is when it does grind, it essentially grinds ores into three times, which is pretty decent. So if we just put the canola seeds in here, as you can see, it'll start grinding away. Uh, I only get to do one because you don't want to go through all of them. Uh, as with most machines in Rotocraft, if you do increase the power, um, primarily increasing the speed of machines, you can increase the speed of uh, the processing. So you can actually um, uh, overclock machines. So there we go, uh, 107 millibuckets of canola from one seed. Now we put iron ore in there, it should do the same, except give us three, I think, three iron ore flakes, which is uh, sort of like the iron ore powder or pulverize uh, stuff you get from thermal expansion or, or IC2. And so we get three iron flakes. So um, if you're early in your radiocraft, uh, a grinder is a very good idea to have because um, because the HSL steel is used so much, you definitely want to get through your iron. You want to definitely want to grind as much of, as possible as you can because um, an extra piece of iron is way better. And yeah. Okay, so what else can we do today? So I got the uh, the lubricant. Um, to get the lubricant out of it, it automatically ejects into uh, lubrication pipes. So did I? Yeah, I've got some glass. Lubrication pipes are pretty easy to make. It's just glass, uh, and I think it accepts Bruce wood. It should. So you just go to your work table, put three down in the center. And put the wood on the other side, and you get lubrication pipes. Okay, and the lubrication pipes, you, well, just for demonstration purposes, you can store it into a um, a tank, an ordinary Billcraft tank. Okay, and then pop. So it automatically outputs in there. Okay, I'm just gonna run it up a tiny bit more. Stay away from that lava, I've got to cover it up later. As for covering up, um, it is also a good idea to cover up the top of the grinder because I'll, I'll just show you. Ow. Um, as you can see, it uh, does hurt. Um, if you feel like it, um, what it can do is essentially use this as a grinder for your lubricant and your ore as well. But if you set up, say, some kind of mob trap above it and use it to kill mobs at the same time, uh, that's an effective way to to get it to do two things at once, really. Um, and compared to other mob grinders, uh, there is a mob harvester in Rotocraft later on, which we'll get to. Um, which I find this one's a, a little bit easier to uh, to power and uh, to use. But uh, <coughs> sorry about that. A little bit easy to use, uh, but. In the meantime, um, cover it up or use it as a mob grinder. I think that's about it for today, guys. Um, if you've got any questions, let me know. Um, so please like and subscribe. Definitely like because it definitely helps me out. Um, and until next time. Ready, aim, fire.